Hey guys, so today is, what day is it? Wednesday? Okay, I won't show you. And I am waiting on my sister, Tony because we are going to do some sneaky, well not sneaky, because we're going shopping, but we're gonna go uh, to Holt Run Through because I wanna get a new bag and it's gonna be probably my first big girl bag. My big girl, I don't know, my Balenciaga was like pre-loved and I, I haven't used that bag in forever. I still love it, but this will probably be like my first big girl bag. Wouldn't you say it's just like, it's just like a big girl bag? So I'm waiting for Tony. I have these two beautiful pimples on my chin that are so annoying. But I'm using Tony's uh, Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. She uploaded a haul video and I watched it and then I was like, okay, well, can I use it? And so I did. I was up really early this morning. For some reason, I've been waking up at like eight. So I was up early and I edited a video, got ready, uh, did my nails, and now I'm just waiting for my sister to be ready. So Tony, I mean, no, this nail's awful, it wouldn't come off, but Tony, um, see, healthy. <laughs> this is my rice I cooked last night. Well, kind of regret buying Slim Fast, but this is a protein drink. It has 25 grams of protein and just, whoo, the stats, the stats of this are a lot better. Um, like, where's the calories? Like, there's 230 calories. 25 grams of protein, only 11 grams of carbs, only four grams of sugar. Um, so yeah, I kind of like regret buying Slim Fast. I was gonna return it, but then my mom had like unpacked it. But uh, yeah, like in a sl vanilla Slim Fast, there's 35 grams of carbs, 250 calories, and only um, like two grams, like 14 grams of protein. So. Uh, I'm gonna have one of these because I've been up since early. And I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, so this is the muscle milk, the royal, no, just the chocolate. Let's try it. Oh, it even tastes better than the Slim Fast. It tastes like, um, like a chocolate milkshake. Um, it kind of tastes like cake batter, more protein, less sugar, less carbs. Can't complain. I did really good with my little diet yesterday. I was, I like, I really stuck to it. So I was happy about that. They're in my fridge now. I was happy about that. Cause like normally, I don't know, I'm taking it more seriously. Before I would have been like, oh, I can have like a little treat. But now I'm taking it really seriously. And the, I'm, I'm happy Tony got the muscle milk, but I, I'm kind of sad that I spent money on the Slim Fast. Okay, so this is my outfit of the day. I have my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25, my Givenchy flops, which I love because now I've worked them in. I made it through all the blisters and now I can happily wear them. Uh, this Zara top that is my favorite top ever, but it's from like a very long time ago. And then these, and then these are the new sunglasses I bought. They're really cool, I find. They're a little bit thicker and they're like tortoise shell. I don't know. I, I really liked them from the moment I saw them and I just bought them. So yeah, these are my new sunglasses. So we're in Tony's car. Tony always drives when we go downtown because she hates my car. <gasps> Fetty Wap! I love Fetty Wap! Can you calm down? You don't love Fetty No, Wap. I love Fetty Wap. I love him. Sing it. Before I left. We're going downtown to Holt Renfrew. Um, Tony's driving. I don't know what Holt Renfrew is. They probably don't know. It's like, I don't know, it's like a high end store where they have designer stuff. It's probably like Nordstrom or something. Well, we shot at Ottawa once with for you because I, I love Nordstrom. It's kind of like. Chanel there? I don't think so. They don't have like Chanel. At least the one we went to, it has like Chloe, Alexander Wang. Like, it's not. They didn't have like a Louis Vuitton or, or anything like that. But um, Hold Renfrew has like designer stuff. There's Ogilvy's and Hold Renfrew. What's the biggest difference? What's the biggest difference between Holtz and um, Ogilvy's? It's uh, a different brand. Well, doesn't Ogilvy's okay, own Ogilvy's, Hold Renfrew? I think Ogilvy's is just. Free parking at Holtz? Because I know Ogilvy's 
if you buy something, they still Yeah, Tony does not like my car and I don't like driving downtown, so she's driving and it's a nice little break. Tony, are you gonna do a car tour? When my uh, when it's nicer. Well I can now. I guess. You can now. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing. And Tony's drinking her muscle milk. I got hungry because I've been up since eight. So. I've been up since eight forty five. I'm wearing a uh, rolled. I'm wearing a gold and a rose gold um, petite beaming ring. I'm, we're so obsessed with our petite beaming collection. Are you wearing one? I'm wearing a rose gold uh, necklace. I find that camera makes me look so weird. Lindsay looks so orange. Mm -hmm. So we just parked. Well, we're just doing ballet. Not ballet, like they're parking the car for us. Now we're walking. This is uh, Montreal. The streets are very busy today. Very busy. It's nice. So this is where this is the street where Holt Renfrew is. There's other little shops and little. What? Oh, I don't know. I want to go to that Toyo restaurant. It's a hibachi restaurant. It's pretty good. I went when I was younger. I don't know if it's still good though. So Tony and I left Ogilvy's and we left empty-handed. Unfortunately, they didn't have I mean, anything. <laughs> I was looking for a Givenchy Antigona bag um, because I really like them, but they didn't have black, they didn't have the nude color. They had this baby blue color, which, which was, I love. It was, really it was nice. beautiful, but like if I'm going to be spending $3,400 on a bag, it needs to be something that, I don't know, I just feel like it needs to be something that's classic. So yeah, I didn't end up buying it. I was so close to buying it, but I was good and I resisted. So I may or may not have purchased something. You Mama, I needed something today. I needed a treat for myself. So we're just leaving Ogilvy's right now. I don't know if I explained properly like what I was planning on doing today, but we went down to Holt Renfrew because for some reason while I was on vacation, I got it in my mind that I wanted a Givenchy Antigone, Antigona, something like that. So I was like going downtown today with a mission and I wanted like a blush one because uh, Paulina PB Bunny, she has a really nice blush one. And I thought like, oh my gosh, it'd be perfect to be like a big girl bag. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get it. So I went downtown, I was like prepared. I was like, even though I knew it was gonna be like around 3000, I was like, I'm ready to make a big girl purchase. And when I went, they really didn't have a big color selection, but they had this like baby blue one that almost looked a little bit gray. And Tony and I both, we really liked it. But then I realized like, I was like kind of like hesitating and like in my mind, I was like, not really sure and I kind of had like doubts and you know that feeling in your stomach so I realized that I liked the color more than I liked the actual bag so which is true like, I don't know what what possessed me because I'm not a structured bag kind of girl you guys know I'm very like casual Balenciaga Louis Vuitton so I decided I'm gonna look at like Rebecca Minkoff for a bag that is like that baby blue color because I think that would be beautiful for summer uh, but yeah so I was in a shopping mood though and I went to as Jerusha would say Vuitton uh, and I had a, the sales associate guy was really nice. I don't know his name. He probably wrote it on the I should have asked but it's probably on the ticket But he was really nice and like patient and like was showing us everything and just like talking with us So it's probably on the ticket um, Alexander so if you go to Louis Vuitton So if you go to Louis Vuitton in Montreal You should ask for Alexander because he was really really nice and uh, friendly so he gave us water. and he gave us like sparkling water and we were so thirsty so that was really nice so I wanted to get myself a little bit of a treat but I just knew that the Antigona was not the right bag for me and I liked the color way more than I liked like the actual structure it was just it's, just, it's a beautiful bag but it's very very structured and then we went to Chanel because Tony wanted another pair of espadrilles and if they had espadrilles in my size I would have bought them as well but they didn't have any for like a sequin pair so I'm gonna show you what I got at Louis Vuitton a quick little unboxing so I don't think that a new Louis Vuitton box will ever get old to me I think it's partly because our mom oh it's loud 
I think it's probably because our mom was always a big Louis Vuitton fan and I remember being little girls we loved remember we just loved it from the very beginning so I didn't get a huge purchase today um, I was planning on spending you know over three thousand dollars on a bag so the way I look at it I'm like well I just saved a lot of money so treat yourself let's see what's inside um he was packing it up and he's like do you want a box and i was like um yes please like i don't get it like was he just gonna throw it in a bag <laughs> like i don't know uh okay well let's see what we got it's just a cute little purchase i'm sure you guys can tell by now but i got the let's see i got a little louis vuitton makeup bag I've wanted one of these for a very, very long time. I don't really carry makeup with me, but I do have, you know, concealer and lipstick and lip stuff in my purse and it's just all over the place. So I got the, the yeah, um, it's leather on the inside. Mine was made in France. And so I got the smallest size just because I don't carry a lot of makeup with me. Um, and this is called, oh, the cards aren't, oh yeah, the cards are inside. This is, I will show you, uh, it is the Petite Pochette Cosmetics LV. It's the smallest one. So that is my little purchase of the day. I love it. Um, I was kind of caught between the Damia Ben and this one, but Tony kind of convinced me to get this. We were checking out and I almost got the, the smallest, tiniest little um, toiletry case. Because I thought it was so cute, but then I just realized this one would be so much more like practical and useful. So I went ahead and got this one, but the little toiletry case is so cute and definitely adorable if you're just if you just keep like lipsticks and stuff. But I don't know. I figured I could use this as like even as a little clutch. I think it's cute. So that is my little purchase, and I'm really happy. I swear the way my thought process works is so messed up because I was like, I was planning on spending a lot more money today. So this is really like saving money. Um, that was my thought process. And Tony came home empty handed. She almost bought a wallet, but there was a little flaw on the, uh, the button, the closure. So she was like, no thanks. Um, but I saw the Rose Ballerine wallet, the Josephine wallet, and I'm really lusting over it. So I'm thinking of selling my uh, Emily wallet in the fuchsia color. Oh my God. look at this traffic. It's only 250, it'll, it'll clear up. So now I don't know what we're gonna do. So we somehow Wait, ended up, clear, right? yeah, Mandy's is on that side. So we somehow ended up in, um, I don't know where, what's this here? West Mount, we're in West Mount. Mm -hmm. Uh, our surgeon's office, Dr. Sino actually got a new office, a private clinic, is actually oh my God, right down the street. Turn. Jesus. Road rage runs in the family. So our surgeon is actually down on like a couple of these streets. Um, but since we're in the area and we're on our healthy thing, we figured we'd just get a salad from Mandy's. Um, and I don't know what kind of salad I'm gonna get, but I'm pretty hungry. And these salads keep me full. Tony's fancy car is parallel parking for us. How the fuck do they do that? Okay, no wonder you don't mind driving downtown. And then, like, you put it in drive and it, like, does it for you. I wish you guys could see my face right now. Done. Let's go. Oh my god! <laughs> So I get a lot of questions about uh, what I recommend if people come to Montreal and honestly I live in the suburbs and I don't really like the city that much but there is a really good restaurant well it's not even a restaurant it's like a salad bar and the salad bar is called Mandy's there's a couple of locations but this one I think is the biggest um, and they have really delicious salads so that's where we're going now to grab a bite. Tumblr. I love the vibe though. Isn't that fun? The cookies are so good. I know. But I'm on a diet. Yeah, I am on like my pre boob diet, so. Anyways, we're waiting for our salads now. 
and I put in some of my makeup, but I don't have a lot, so this is just my little makeup bag. So this is my salad. It's my favorite salad. It's the only salad I really get here. I have some sparkling water. This is from Ogilvy's. They gave it to us. And they have sparkling water here. But this is the December salad. It has like lettuce, chicken. Oh wait, did, I didn't add chicken. Did I? I did. I added chicken. It has this Asian sesame vinaigrette with pita chips and parmesan. This will literally keep me full all day. What, did you, what salad did you get? I got the vegan Danielle salad. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't really feeling, well I ate a lot of my salad and I, I don't know, I just was kind of over it for now, but I'm gonna have it like later. So I got a smoothie and this is the clean smoothie with banana, blueberries, strawberries, kale, mint, basil, and apple cider vinegar. And it's delicious, so I would recommend this. And I'm gonna try and make this. I know, I thought I had all the food in my teeth. So we were walking back to Tony's car and these two girls, what do they say? They're like, excuse me. And I thought I left something at Mandy's and I turned around and it was these two girls who went to a high school around here and they're like, are you Allie and Tony? And we ended up chatting with them. It was so cute. It was so nice to meet them. So thank you, Gabriella and Karina for saying hi. And I showed them like my bag, well, my little makeup bag and I told them all the info. So I got a little preview to the vlog today. But yeah, we're, I'm drinking my smoothie. Out of breath. Out of breath, walking up a hill, going home. Okay, Tony's car parked itself. How crazy is that? So we just got home and I see two boxes on the front steps. One is for me. They must have already had my address because I have a PO box now. And then I think this is Tony's Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, let's see what it is. We hope you enjoy our Lashes Without Limits collection. Woohoo! Comes with a box. I love when Smashbox sends me stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I love this yeah, one. Yeah, that was such a good mascara. They had already sent, oh my goodness. So, okay, let's figure this out. Smashbox full explosion. I so love So, I like, I love this X-rated mascara. I've used this before, I loved it. Indecent exposure. In my bag, in my school bag. Then the full exposure. Ooh, that looks good. I got a package from Smashbox. I, oh my gosh, this time I love lash primers. And then that's it. I got something Louis Vuitton. <laughs> yeah. So this is Tony's Charlotte Tilbury. I know, it's so cute. Ooh. Oh my gosh, what did you get? The this, is the yeah, like this is the skin stuff. This is the skin stuff. Oh. And my lipstick and my samples. Can you show us what's it, what it is? Yeah. So, oh. and so it's like a set and you get to try all of it. How much was that? Okay, let's try it. Oh. All of it. And this is cream is supposed to, it's her magic cream. And so it's supermodel body. Wonder glow. Magic cream. Oh, I've heard about the magic cream. Multi miracle, miracle glow. glow. Gladys skin clay mask. And this is amazing. She's putting that in a safe place. She's having a I want to do the clay mask. Can... No, <laughs> it's a 50 milliliter sample size. How much was it though? 100 bucks. For fucking five samples? It's because I, I wanted to try all of it.